Unlike Arizona, there won't be any new national monuments in Wyoming under the Antiquities Act. A popular tourist destination in Thermopolis is closed because of paperwork. And three California men are arrested after trying to recreate an Instagram-inspired heist. Bringing you these stories and more from Wyoming's largest news organization, I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. President Joe Biden this month became the fourth consecutive Democrat president to take a trip west, carve out a chunk of federal land, and call it a national monument. Similar to Presidents Obama, Clinton, and Carter, the Biden administration used the Antiquities Act of 1906 to create a new national monument. But that's something that would not be possible in Wyoming, according to Cowboy State Daily's John Thompson. Biden has used it to create a new monument surrounding Grand Canyon National Park, and so just extends the boundaries out there and eliminates any ability to mine it or graze it. Wyoming has a law that prohibits use of the Antiquities Act for creating national monuments. Many political insiders argue that Wyoming found a legal loophole to become exempt from the powers of the Antiquities Act in 1950 when Grand Teton National Park was made a national monument. That means that presidents can't just unilaterally carve out chunks of the state to make new national parks without our say-so. Star Plunge, one of three hot springs in Hot Springs State Park, has been immediately but temporarily closed. Cowboy State Daily's Andrew Rossi reports that the closure of the popular tourist destination boils down to a paperwork problem. Star Plunge leases the hot spring itself from Hot Springs State Park and Wyoming State Parks. They need to have liability insurance. The state asked for proof of their liability insurance. They gave them a deadline to provide it. So finally, the state reached the deadline and they shut down the pool immediately and indefinitely. Rossi reports that Star Plunge could open as soon as they present a certificate showing that they have valid liability insurance. Casper resident Reed Rasner, who came in seventh place when he ran for city council in Las Vegas in 2017, officially announced his long-shot campaign on Tuesday to unseat U.S. Senator John Barrasso in 2024. Rasner told Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson that he was approached multiple times by different political groups in Wyoming to run. He's never ran for any Wyoming office before, and like many in recent years, he's touting that as a positive. Rasner is the first candidate to officially enter the race. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. A former Wyoming Game and Fish Commissioner says Wyoming doesn't need to worry about anti-hunters infiltrating its Wildlife Commission, at least not right now. Colorado Governor Jared Polis recently appointed two people to Colorado's 11-member Wildlife Commission who are considered by some to be anti-hunting. Former Wyoming Game and Fish Commissioner Mike Schmidt of LaBarge told Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines that unlike what's happening in Colorado, he isn't too concerned about overt anti-hunters being appointed to the commission here anytime soon. Not necessarily that there, there isn't a concern, you know, that animal rights people are going to be appointed to the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission, but he is concerned about the direction that some of the up-and-coming biologists are receiving in the universities. You know, from his perspective, what he sees as a skewed perspective on that. The commissions are responsible for setting wildlife management policies, hunting seasons, and the like. And hella stupid is what one man called his decision to join two of his friends in an Instagram-inspired pharmacy heist on a Casper Walgreens in May. Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland reports that on the evening of May 26th, a figure in a dark hoodie leapt over a Walgreens pharmacy counter in Casper and robbed the case, taking a whole bag of oxycodone and everything in the case. There are three California men who went to high school together, allegedly came to Wyoming to recreate an Instagram video in which people robbed Walgreens to get and sell hydrocodones. Curtis Green, Charles Jemison, and Joshua Slaughter have all pleaded not guilty and are set for October trials. When Casper Police Department Detective Schlager interviewed Green after his arrest, Green said he'd never heard of Wyoming before, adding, quote, I just feel hella stupid right now, end quote. And that's today's news. You can read about all of these stories and more on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.